presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Hey, Robin, how you doing, man? Yes, good. And thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really, the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, well, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesaveno setting in for the Bastry himself, Tom O'Brien here today. I wanted to start out by going across the pond over to the UK and over to Germany. You can see the price of the FTSE. That was the first chart that we post posted. You can see a beautiful uh, ABCD pattern coming in at a very critical Fibonacci level today. And then if you look at the German DAX, that's the one that's had the huge sell-off. And, of course, we had a really sharp rally over these last few days, also coming up into a major Fibonacci uh, level. But the one I wanted to share with you today is the one that I think is the most important of all. And this is the one that we featured in the newsletter and also the videos that we did over the weekend. And that is the chart of the uh, E-mini S&P 500. You can see the 135 pattern uh, absolutely perfectly. You know, one is up there where we had the, the beautiful ABCD there right there on January 4th. You can see that perfect ABCD. Same number of days up in the AB leg as in the CD leg. And then you come down and you make your point three right there. And then you come here to point five, and boy, it stopped exactly where it should have. We said in the newsletter it could only go a few points higher than we did on Friday, and we did by three points. And then the market has broken well over 60 handles, and uh, looks like it could be uh, going uh, a lot lower. So we'll keep that in mind. There's some other things that are very important here. By the way, at the break, Shane Smolian was going to of the WolfTrader.com is going to talk to us. Uh, what I talked about was this pattern was so important that it had five things that you could possibly ask for. First of all, you have a downtrend with a 135 pattern. Second of all, you have multiple ABCD patterns confirming. The third thing is the ratios between the 1, 3, and 5 are also perfectly correct. And of course, the fourth thing is the timing of that. And also, Tom uh, Shane will help us with the uh, with the uh, timing and when he comes on at the break to show us why uh, today's high is uh, so very very important. But we have another uh, a chart that is you know verifies you know what we're doing with this, and and that is uh, the next one. I'll bring it up here to show you. Hold on one second here. It's the Nasdaq, and I think that's the one that uh, really cements. The fact that, you know, we're looking at something really extraordinary happening in the stock market today. And believe me, folks, if we should turn and go higher here uh, and, and take out today's high, all of this will be wrong. But right now, you can, you can see here, it's perfect ABCD right at the 1.618 expansion. Your ABCD leg, you know, starts right here. You go up to your B leg, down to your C leg, up to your A leg right there. Perfect, right? Just absolutely spot on that you can, you know, it's just absolutely perfect. I mean, all of them. I mean, they were just the Dow Jones, the Dow, the Dow Jones and self for itself, the S&P, and also the NASDAQ, which I'm showing you now. They all hit perfect numbers. That in itself is a surprise. But if we want to look at something else, too, and we do watch this, and that is the standard deviations, because these are how these uh, algorithmic traders work. And if we look at this today, you'll be able to see here, we were at two standard deviations as we reach this level right up in here. Right there is where we were two standard deviations, and we only went it went about 20 points higher in the Nasdaq um, on, on that, and it immediately collapsed. So that's another reason it tells us you could ask. We have a very very strong correction here, if not an intermediate term top with that 135 pattern, folks. You have to pay very very close attention to it because it's very rare. But when you get it, and when you get it, you got to pay attention. We're just going to go back here and look at one that we had here. Uh, oh, just been about, oh, how long has it been? It's been a couple months ago, but it was a very significant one, of a stock that almost all of us use, and that is here in the Google. 
and that you can see where we were you know way back here in january you can see the one three five pattern we have the three lower tops all related to Fibonacci numbers. Then you have the huge breakdown, and then you have the earnings surprise where it goes up and makes a double top. But look at that move, folks, in 135, what it did. Uh, and it starts down, and, and your risk is if you make a higher high than five. And today, that it done exactly what it was supposed to do. So until we get above that level, uh, we're looking at the same type of pattern that we're seeing in Google, which happened, you know, and the market dropped well over 15% during that time so we need to pay close attention to that at least from a probability standpoint hold on one second folks i need to take a little bit of hot lemon tea and then we're going to take a look at another couple of charts here that will tell us you know where what we're looking at in some of these markets this whole rally that we started with folks started back i'm going to get this up here so you can see it started in the asian markets back on the 15th this was the day before the fed came in uh we talked about this quite a bit on the show we sent a video out on it this was the nikkei on the week excuse me the hang Seng index on the monthly basis it was a perfect a b c d there's a we come down to b go up and come right down to c and you can see we hit it within 100 points of the exact low on the 15th that day when it was down five percent two days in a row and then we reversed and we've had a really strong rally. But what's important here is that we look to see the quality of this rally because this is going to tell us what's going to happen, you know, most probably over these next few days. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a trip down memory lane and go back to that chart on the uh, Hang Seng. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at it on a daily basis so we can look at it under a microscope. And as you can see, the ABCD pattern ended down here. There it was, right on the money. You just can't make it up. A perfect A, B. You see your, on the monthly chart, it was way back here. A, B, up to C, and then down here, you know, setting exactly at the right number. And we had a strong rally. But look, folks, you see this gap that's right here? We better fill this gap very, very soon because if we don't, and if we don't, this is, uh, this is going to be extremely negative. Going below this level right now after a 15% uh, move in the index, we went from 118, excuse me, from 18,000 to 24,000 uh, very, very quickly. And it's a very important that we get back into that zone above that gap if this in in index for the NASDAQ for the Hang Seng is supposed to uh, continue. So it's very important what we're looking at here over these last few days here. I, we've got a break coming up here. If you do have any questions coming in, I basically do uh, futures and I also do uh, foreign exchange. And so what we'll do is we'll be watching that to see what happens with this uh, as we go through uh, looking at some of these things as we're watching some of these things today here. So I think, uh, I hope that's a break coming up. I can't tell because I'm not in the host chat, so I have to go back to see if I've got any time. And then we we'll go, there we go. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, this is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien. And uh, Tom will be back with us soon, but right now I'm taking over. This is Larry Pesavento. Trade what you see here at TFNN. I posted a chart of the long term bonds. This is where the big problem lies, folks. We've been running in a sea of debt for well over 25 years now. Uh, you'll notice when we made the high here about a year and a half ago, up here in this level of the 180 level 170 in the T bonds they were telling us about negative interest rates that these bonds were going to see 200 and the interest rates were going to go to zero uh, that never made any sense to me folks negative interest rates means that you pay someone to take care of your money and they're going you're going to have to pay them and not only that but you're not having no guarantee that you're going to get your money back well things have changed if you look to the right here we were talking about the 135 pattern in stocks today there it is right there in the treasury bonds folks it's the exact same pattern 135 and if you'll notice here that we are breaking below major support today we're taking out that 152 level we're now trading at 149 and if you look a little bit lower down here the ABCD on this measures to 128 so we've got a lot well <laughs> thought we had a long way to go but we've only got 20 handles to make now but because uh, we've broken 12 13 handles since the point three was made and now we're heading down to this level right here and there's nothing that the Federal Reserve can do about it folks these market forces are in play you know they're trying to imbat, uh, to Im battle inflation you know plus juggle all the balls of the, of the debt of the, of the government they're not going to be able to do that so they got to print more bonds and that means that you're going to come down to this level right here the yield foot the yield curve is in, inverted now folks so that's another reason why you got to be very very careful about being long these bonds because these things Things look like they want to go a whole lot lower. In fact, last week we were we were screaming about this happening. If you'll take a look at what was happening to the Treasury notes last week, I'll get this up so you folks can take a look at it. You'll see that we were all the way down, breaking below that support. Now the bonds broke the support today, but the notes broke it last week. And you can see here we've got a long way to go here to complete this ABCD. Each of these rallies. You see, it was exactly 382. They were perfectly, you know, five points in notes, five points in notes, and then, you know, down lower. So this is telling us that, you know, we're at least heading down to this level right here. So this tells us that interest rates are going to go higher. Will that affect the stock market at all? I don't know, but nobody else does either. All we're doing is just we're looking at charts to see if they're going to be, uh, you know, viable for a, a trading opportunity. That's the main thing that we're 
paying very, very close attention to. So let's remind ourselves of that, okay? Now, one of the things that we want to talk about here is, uh, hold on, our guest at the break, folks, will be Shane Smolian, wolftrader.com. He's going to talk to us about that fifth element, and that is the timing of today's high in the stock market, the fact that it matched up with the uh, three drive, or the one three five pattern that we talked about, but Shane will be talking uh, to us at the break uh, when it comes up. Now, we've had a question here from uh, one of our listeners, and that is about the Bitcoin. I want to get this up to you uh, so you can take a look at it. Again, it's our technical valuation of where we stand here uh, with the cryptos. You'll see here that we've had these major bottoms here after the major tops that we had. We had a double top. Now we have higher bottoms. We're basically in a very, very wide channel from 67 on the upside to 30,000 on the downside. Any break of that 30,000 would tell us that uh, we're going to go down to probably 20,000 or maybe even a little bit lower. What's different about this one than it was in the one that we had way back here is the fact that this one has gone sideways for so long whereas this one took off right away and when it made a huge a b c d right at the top up here the perfect a b c d as a matter of fact at 67000 the high was 69000 and then we went all the way down to 30000 and we've gone basically nowhere between 30000 and 36 30000 and 46000 over the past 6 weeks and have gone nowhere uh, that's not the sign of a bull market starting it's the sign of a bull market that wants to test one more time uh, to the downside and that's technical evaluation of course but that's what it looks like it doesn't uh, doesn't appear, appear, appear to be any doubt about that now uh, I wanted to show one other chart uh, which is the cash S&P market to give you an idea I've taken all the the fancy well not fancy numbers but the Fibonacci numbers off of it this is the basically the cash S&P and here again you can see the perfect ABCD as you can see you're in a downtrend there's drive one, there's drive three, there's drive five. You do it with a perfect A, B, C, D pattern right up here. Each of these moves, folks, each of these moves are perfectly symmetrical. In other words, they're perfectly harmonic with one another. Both of those moves spot on. That's why today's high was so very, very important, because if we exploded in the stock market, which means the Dow had to be up about 200 points, and I think the most it was up at like 60 points or something. I can't remember. It was hardly nothing. Uh, and it didn't even take out the high of Friday. So the main thing is, is this darn thing is really getting ready to move to the downside now, because that would make a three drive to a pattern happening, drive one, drive two, drive three, somewhere below 3,800 in the E-mini S&P, if in fact this pattern is complete. Now, I will give you a big caveat here. If we take out this high of 0.5 here, any time in the next few days, this pattern is flat out wrong and this thing is gonna go a lot higher. So the key is it can't get any higher than where we are right now, because if we do, that is a failed pattern, and you must stand aside and move to look at something else because, in fact, that is not going to be a pattern that you want to have working for you. Now, I want to switch gears one more time here, and that let me just get it up here for a second here because there's another pattern that's happening related to money, and that is in the foreign exchange market. I know a lot of you are not in foreign exchange, but it affects us all. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the monthly chart of the dollar-yen. And as you can see here, we are setting on this monthly chart, we are setting exactly at the 78% level of the high made five years ago, all right? That tells us that it has to get higher than 120. We're trading at 119 and change, folks. So and, and unless we get above 120, this market is getting ready to reverse. And that is risk off, and that means stocks could start to fall again. So those are just a few of the ones that we're watching. And, of course, I, I want to be able to talk just a tad here about the gold market because uh, we've had some real wild swings in gold today. Unfortunately, we got up to 48, I believe, in the gold. Uh, hold on one second here. And I went neutral today on the gold. And I'm not sure which direction it's going to go because it hit the 61% retracement, could not rally very much. And so I thought it would be best to stand aside until I see a clearer pattern where I can control my risk a little better. A little better. So I took a, the, the uh, position off at uh, the break even. It rallied a little higher than that. 
but that's what I was looking at, and I certainly uh, feel comfortable about it because with the old picture behind my wall up here, number one rule is when in doubt, get out. And I was in doubt, so I got out. And that's what I was paying very, very close attention to uh, as we were you know, looking at some of these things that we're watching here uh, today. So those are just a few of the things that we're paying really close attention to. And uh, hopefully they'll have a better idea of what's going on. We got the S&P is still down about uh, oh, 40 handles, uh, 35 handles from the high. The Dow Jones about 300 points. We'll be right back, folks. 877 Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back. This is uh, Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien, and we have a special guest at our break today, the wolf trader himself, Shane Spolian, out of uh, Miami, Florida. Shane, would you tell us why today is such an important day from a cycle standpoint? Sure. There's a lot. There's actually a lot to talk about here. Can you see the screen on uh, the chart that I have up here? Yes, I we, we have the, the Skype thing feed We're working good, so all your charts will be posted, I was told. So please okay. go ahead. Well, first of all, uh, S&P has entered into what we call the death cross. This is a classical technical formation 
where you have a bearish market and the the 50 day moving average is moving below the 200 day moving average now that that in of itself is not does not mean everything but it's a very important milestone for the s p because this doesn't happen very often um if you go to the s p 500 here you can see i mean you go to the nasdaq here sorry this is the black chart here's the nasdaq you can see that this has crossed uh before actually back into February so that the Nasdaq is leading on the way down and this is much weaker uh, but right now uh, from a, a cycles perspective uh, we're coming across the equinox the spring equinox and so what happens when you have this the spring equinox you have the Sun and the Aries point uh, conjunct and so both of those points are very sensitive to transits manifesting so when we see transits and cycles we want to see the Sun and the Aries point involved What's going to happen on the 22nd to the 24th is there's going to be some hard aspects coming across both the sun and the Aries point. And that's only that's going to start tomorrow and go through the 24th. So that it, that is going to be bringing uh, some some harder energy here to the market. Now, this chart here shows what's going on with the Fed. Uh, and so essentially everybody knows that QE is ending. It's not a secret. Uh, and we got this really big, powerful rally off the lows here uh, during this Fed meeting. But I think that this is likely ending here and I'm you know I call some of these rallies the Frankenstein rallies when they kind of shoot up and they, they have no business being up and this I call this the Frankenstein rally back in December and I call it, I'm calling this one the brighter Frankenstein rally this is this is coming to an end here uh, and the QE is ending so you know when we look at this from many different angles not just the Astro cycles angle but also what's going on with the Fed we have a lot of con converging information that's telling us that this is likely going to be some type of a topping pattern into here uh, in spite of the very powerful rally it's been very impressive the last four days uh, but there's just too much too many headwinds here against this s p 500. now you mentioned the cycles so what i'm going to show you here on the chart this is a cycle this is a chart showing many different cycles now i look it looks like a lot of information i'm going to i'm going to break this down for you so there's 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 four basic things to look for the red line here is the fed taper Okay, and the black chart here is the S&P. So you can see the Fed begins its taper here, and as the Fed pulls back on the taper, you can see the S&P starts deflating into here. Now, to make things more complex here, in addition to the Fed, we have to look at the cycles. And so I have three basic cycles that we look at. <clears throat> we look at the S&P solar cycle, we look at the planetary speed index, and we look at the optimized Bradley. All three of those indexes right now are making a high so this is kind of a point right now where everything is converging to a high in terms of a cycle standpoint and it's converging into a high in terms of what the fed is doing so this is i believe that this is a temporary phenomenon that we're seeing here uh with this this little rally up into here and i think the bear market will resume uh, in full force here shortly so it's important to look at all these cycles because they don't always agree and when they converge and they come together like this you get a much cleaner look at what's going on uh this is another one here I want to talk about. This is what, what I call the planetary stelium index. And this measure, and that's not on the other chart. This measures how tight the planets are. So down here is the S&P labeled one, two, three, four, five. And up here, this is how tight the planets are. And so the market has traced this out almost perfectly. And we came up to this fifth high here on the planetary stelium and the market followed it up and it followed it up in, in great fashion here in the last few days. This is the tightest stelium point of 2022. We just passed it on March 19th. So this is the most powerful point in terms of the stelium in 20, uh, 2022. It's going to happen. There's going to be one more peak that comes. That's going to be a lower peak at the end of April. And then that's it in terms of the S&P. So we have a, a, a weird convergence here of just many, many different cycles here um, at, a, at a point that I think has contributed to uh, part of this rally. But I think you know, you have reached a peak here in terms of the transits. Uh, and, and and this is a look here at the actual chart with the planets. You can see they're starting to break up now, but we had a really tight stelium here. We had the, we had the Sun, Neptune, Mercury, Jupiter. Uh, we had Saturn, Venus, Mars. And Venus and Mars had been traveling together for a while. They have been conjunct for a, a, over a month because we had this retrograde and then Venus was slow and then it slowly picks up speed and then it starts to move faster than Mars. But the point is, this is now breaking up, and so because this is breaking up, that breaks up that bullish energy that can come onto the market right now. So, uh, you know, I, I think when you look at all of these factors together, we really just kind of had a, a convergence of very positive energy. There was a few cycle lows that came in. 
I know some of your guests were talking about those. So the, the problem is that we are in a, a bear market on the long term. Uh, even if you look at the transits now, this is another way to look at it, just the combined transits in terms of what's going on. We're at another peak here at 320. So uh, no matter how you look at this, uh, we are at some type of a peaking situation on the S&P 500. Now, this is a uh, <clears throat> this is an interesting chart here. This has been a very complex downtrend to follow. Uh, but this is what's called these are Fibonacci speed lines. And what they do is they take these retracement points and from the 50 percent level here, it makes a, a, a speed line or a trend line. So the S&P comes up and tests these lines. So this was the 382. This was the 0.5. This is the 0.618. So this came up and hit this 50 percent and rejected off of that line. So that it did serve as some type of a, of a reversal. Uh, point for the S&P 500 here, but this is still showing us in a downtrend. This has not broken yet. Uh, it would have to clear the 6.618 level, would have to clear that uh, for us to say that there is some type of a, a new uptrend forming. But the thing is, I don't just look, I know Larry, you're looking at these charts and you're looking at this 135 pattern and you're looking at all the technicals. You know, I, I try to look in addition to that, I, I agree with everything that you're saying. But I look at what's going on with the Fed and I look at what's going on with the Astro and they're they're in agreement with what you're saying, essentially, that this is this is a some type of a high. I think it didn't try to make a bit off the low here. Maybe there was a, some type of a cycle low into here, too. It was just kind of like a perfect storm here of events coming in. Um, this is another chart here uh, that it's just showing th the complexity of this downtrend. You've had three different uh, trend lines form. You had this first one goes all the way back here from December, this one, uh, two, three trend line. Then you had a steeper one here, this one, two, three, four, five trend line. And then you had another steeper trend line form here. So within this downtrend, you've had all of these complex patterns forming. It's been a, a very complex downtrend as the S&P is. There's no doubt about it. Also, I just want to point something out too, that markets that go up this fast can come down this fast. And so there's there's a there's a, a theory called the mirror theory that these markets tend to form mirrors. And so one of the things that you want to look at when you have a really sharp rally like this is that if this was the high here, if this is going to make a mirror, this is how it would look if it comes down on the back side of the mirror over here. And so this would put us out coming back down to this 4300 level probably around the 24th or the 25th into here. And we know that we're going to have these hard transits here with the Aries point coming across here. So, Wow. Hey, stay with us. Uh, Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com. We'll pay a few bills. We'll be right back. This is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien with his guest, Shane Smolian, TheWolfTrader.com. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, this is Larry Pesavito sitting in for Tom O'Brien today. He'll be back soon. Uh, and anyway, we have as our guest today Shane Smolian, the WolfTrader.com, a frequent guest on my show. And Shane, you want to tell the folks a little bit more about where, what we're looking at here at this key date that we're watching in the stock market today? Like I said, from many different perspectives, we're at some type of a major cycle high here. Uh, no matter how you look at this and and we like i said the planter stelium's at the peak of the year so the plants are the peak but look for 322 to 324 there are some hard aspects coming across the sun and the aries point which is important because we just came across the spring equinox so these are important points to watch and the s p may be starting to trace out a mirror now because remember guys whenever something goes up that fast it can come down that fast and so uh you know when you see increasing volatility that's not a to the upside that's not a good thing uh, you know, volatility goes both ways, and the VIX index is not a good indicator of volatility. The VIX typically measures falling markets, and the VIX has been falling this whole time while the S&P went up. But the reality is the volatility is increasing, and so that means that not only can it go up that fast, it can come down that fast. So uh, just just something to, to pay attention to here. And again, just going back to what we were talking about, that you have a convergence right now of many different cycles hitting a peak right now on this S&P. And so when we see that, uh, it can cause just the fact that these are, you know, coming together and then they, they release, you can, you can often see a fall of markets after that. And again, we haven't, we're having, we're coming out of this really tight stelium peak. Uh, that's the peak of 2022. So those are just some, some key points there, uh, that I have on the S and P. I just still feel that we are not out of the danger yet by any means. And that, um, you know, we got to be careful. So one of the things that I talked about, I know you you were just talking about Bitcoin, right? Yes. So I've been doing some webinars on Bitcoin versus gold because I know these two camps are very much at odds with each other. And the Bitcoiners believe that they're, you know, that this is the new gold and gold says, no, that that's just fake. It's a Ponzi scheme. Uh, I, I tend to think that they both have their value, but I've been studying them recently. So one of the things that I try to do is I try to look at the spread between Bitcoin and gold. Uh, and right now, gold is uh, the spread on gold says to buy Bitcoin and sell gold. That's the first thing that I'm looking at right now. Uh, so I think it's important to look at both of these because these are both direct competitors of each other. Now, Bitcoin is taking market share away from gold. And that's something that's the reality. And that's something that's going to continue to occur. And so I think it's important to pay attention. But one of the things I also tell people to pay attention to is that um, when you see markets that are in a full decline in a bear market, uh, when you get to that center point of the decline, this is what happened in 2020. I have Bitcoin up here, I have gold here, and I have S&P here. There is a point to where all of these markets will fall together. It will happen. It doesn't happen very often. It takes a, it takes a lot for that to happen. But that those would be the times to start looking into a gold or a Bitcoin when you see that type of a capitulation. And we're not seeing that yet. Gold is just starting to get weak. Larry, you were talking about that, that you got out of the position. I think gold has some downside here. Uh, I, I have the hottest cycle here of gold. This is just one of the cycles that we look at. 
Uh, but I figured gold would make it up into the Fed meeting. It turned a little bit before that. And I think gold could be showing some weakness into here. Uh, and so I really don't think either one of these are safe. I think Bitcoin in, in the short term, I think Bitcoin has a tendency uh, to follow equities now. It's become very mainstream. So I think that when you look at these markets, um, Bitcoin will likely follow S&P down. S&P probably is going to keep going down. And then gold at some point will go down too. I think they'll all go down together. And I think that is the point to where you want to start looking possibly into gold or Bitcoin because that's usually when they start to break. And, and for what I've been talking about in the webinars, Bitcoin tends to break first, like from the lows. So it, it, it tops first, which is what it just did now. And it bottoms first, which is what it, what it we don't know yet if that's gonna, when that's going to happen. But I would be waiting until you get a scenario where you get all three of these declining before I even think about that. Because Bitcoin has become so mainstream, it is essentially following the S&P. And if you go back to the 2020 recovery, it has it has followed the S&P. So, uh, and, it's, and it turns first, too. It, turned, it turns before the S&P. It turned in November. S&P took a while to turn uh, into January. So, you know... Just be careful out there. And gold doesn't have to hold its value, guys. It, just because it's gold, it may, it may do a better job of hedging, but they can they can still all go down. Wow, this is really exciting stuff. You know, one of my things on my bucket list is to see some segment of CNBC or Bloomberg, uh, you know, at least two or three times a week where they talk about the astral cycles because they are very important. The problem is they get a little confusing because they do have so many different, you know, ramifications and how they work. But you do a great job of explaining it. And I wanted to thank you for, uh, you know, sharing what you're looking at. You want to tell the folks, this is Tom's show, so many of them might not have heard of you before i had a chance to listen you want to tell the folks how they could contact you if they have an interest in this material sure uh let me just pull up a slide here okay so uh for those of you who don't know me i'm shane smolian for wolf trader futures and you can you can reach me at shane at wolf trader .com. i have a website we run multiple newsletters on all many different markets s p metals energy currencies cryptocurrencies stocks etfs we run a, a lot of newsletters uh, and you can go to uh, wolftraderfutures.com or fedjuice.com. Every Saturday, we do a free webinar on Wolf Trader Futures on YouTube. So if you want to stop by and check those out, we have a good time. We interact. People ask questions. We, we kind of go back and forth with that. Uh, and so that's available, too. And then on Twitter, uh, wolftraderfutu1 if you want to follow us there where we give, give updates on different markets. Well, this is great. Listen, thanks for joining us today, my friend, and I really appreciate you coming in, sharing the information, because I think it's important that pe people realize that we are all over something pretty significant today. Absolutely. Absolutely. Stay safe out there, everybody. You bet. You bet, folks. TheWolfTrader.com, folks. Shane Smolian. Okay, getting back to the markets here. Uh, we see that the bond market has weakened again. We've broken the 150 layer area. We're now trading just uh, below that at 149. And change. Uh, the notes are still cascading down as we showed on the longer term weekly chart. So it's going to be very, very important. The only mystery, folks, is whether we're going to see anything related to what's happening, you know, what's going on in the US dollar. And the US dollar itself, we'll get this up here. And even with the war that's going on over there, we'll get this up here. You'll see there's the daily. Uh, chart here of the do uh, you, you, dollar index. You can see here that we're right at that 1.618 level at 99. That happens to be the level, actually 98.25 is the exact 61% on the weekly. So we've been trading above that for two weeks, which makes it very powerful. You can see the three drive to a uh, top pattern. There's drive one, uh, there's drive two, and then drive three is right up here at the top. Now, if we get above that, folks, after just a shallow uh, retracement that we're seeing right now of 382 in the dollar index, that can be extremely, extremely bullish. And if you'll remember uh, that we've talked about in our newsletter, the fact that that euro is a very, very bearish chart. And it looks like the euro wants to get down, of course, you know, to that uh, 10106 level without too much trouble. And that's not too far away. You know, it's only right now, it's only about four handles uh, away, which is $5,000. But, you know, it's certainly possible that they could do that. Now, bring this chart up so you'll be able to take a look at it. This is the euro 
uh, on the long-term picture. And as you can see, that measures all the way down here. We're currently trading below the 110 level uh, right now and heading towards 106. That's about three handles, not five handles. So we should be uh, getting close to that area uh, very, very shortly. At least that's the way it looks like. It's uh, very important to uh, look at it. So we'll see. By the way, someone mentioned that the SPX also stopped exactly at the 200-day moving average today. So that's another one that's uh, add another factor to it of, of the other four that I looked at, plus the one that Shane looked at. Uh, that tells us that something significant happened today. Any move above 44.75 now in the S&P is extremely bullish. And until that happens, you have to stay to the downside. We'll be right back, boys and girls live every market day from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern for free each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world from the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds tiger tv has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money watch online at tfnn.com or on tfnn's youtube channel and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market you're going to need a crystal ball after all it's impossible to predict the future right like any endeavor in life before you decide it's impossible get some advice from the experts you might find that it's not so impossible after all for daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks. Larry Pesavento wrapping up the show for Tom O'Brien. Tom will be back with us shortly. Uh, what we tried to do here on today's show was to show you the fact that this is a key day here in the stock market, the fact that we hit that 44.75 level in the S&P. As long as we stay below that, folks, it's very bearish for a lot of different reasons. But also we extremely, well, we try to show you without uh, any qualms about how bearish the notes and bonds look, folks. Uh, we have a price objective of the uh, bonds down at 128. That's 20 handles from where we are right now, trading at 149 and change. And we've been bearish this three different times, once from 170 and also from 164, and we're still bearish until we get down to that 128, 129 level in the bonds. The key level today, watch, cash S&P, 44.75. If we get above that, everything that I've said here today doesn't count because that means that we're getting ready to go probably a lot higher. We're 30 handles under that right now. 
with about oh, 20, 15, 20 minutes to go. So it's still a possibility, but we need to pay close attention to that number, folks. The crude oil is trading very, we hit 111 a barrel here just a little while ago. That takes us up to the lower high that we had at the 382 at 117. If we can get the oil above 113 here, it's got a chance to make the 150 level. Uh, without too much trouble. But if it can't get above 112, we've got a chance to get back to that 105, 106 level. We hit 10, 106 last night, and we rallied well over $4 a barrel today, folks. And so that's why it's uh, very important to uh, watch that number at 112. 112 and 105. It's in a trading band, trading band until we break out of that band. Uh, either way, that's the main thing to pay attention to. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And Tom will be back with you tomorrow. And stay safe, my friends. Trading in the